Welcome to this look at a new-ish mod map to console on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Silly P. I'm here on Mazov Shane. This is by Puma 145, 213.75 megabytes to download. Now, this came to console as part of an update that happened on Friday. So the update part of that was added support for consoles. Bit of housekeeping before we start. There is a message and it says message from mod hub team now i had had a couple of messages from other people saying it doesn't work on consoles well it does say added support for consoles i'm on playstation 5 at the moment um i've been around to the quick around the map it does say info the map is currently not on xbox series um available due to technical issues with this map so for some reason it's not working on xbox series consoles but I, like I say, I'm on PlayStation 5, it's working fine for me. So I'm assuming that will get sorted. Um, but just to let you know, if you're trying to get on here on Xbox and you're having a problem, that could be why. Um, anyway, we start. Well, let's have a look at the map first. This is the map. It's a small map. It's really picturesque. It's lovely. Lighting's great. Texture, palette, color palette. It just it works. I really like it. Um, right up my street. It's, it's a really, really nice map. On New Farmer. Normal economy, I'm on one of the map tours, you start with field 23, field 47 and the main farm area here. Just to be aware, over to the west here, there's another farm area which you can buy. If you uh, if you buy that, that's going to cost you 32832 There are a load of farm buildings and stuff already on there on New Farmer, but not on Farm Manager and Start From Scratch. Um, we'll go into more detail on that. Biogas plant down here is available to buy, and that's only 13,080. But you need to buy it to be able to access it and use it, and for the triggers and stuff to come up. Field prices are, you know, fairly cheap. It's a small map; they're not mega expensive. And the most expensive one is field 57 down the bottom for 235 grand. And you can kind of build your way up. And there's forestry. Uh, you can buy the area around the sawmill, which is down there, which again we'll get to later on. Uh, so we'll have a look around the main farm area first. Standing where I am now. We'll do slot count now. On New Farm, it's 700. Um, and you start with some vehicles, equipment, and machinery. So we'll click on to that as well. Let's have a look at what we start with. Not that one. Um, we start with two small tractors, a Maxim CVX-135 and a Forterra HSX-130. We've got the uh, Rostel Mash, Nova 330 Harvester. We've got a small Velga trailer. We've got a header, plow, cultivator, power harrow. Um, we've got a cedar, and we've got some weights. Not a huge amount of stuff to start with. If you come onto here on Farm Manager or start from scratch, the slot count comes down to 649, and it will look like this. So as you can see from that picture, you don't have any of the buildings, but you do start with the machinery. If you get rid of all the machinery as well, and then I went over, bought the biogas plant, because you can get rid of that too, if you wanted to. If you, just, if you want to get the slot count down as low as you possibly can, I'm not quite sure I just did that. Um, I got it down to 554, but in all honesty, at 700, the map's more than playable. 649, it's more than playable, but if you just want it, if you want to, you can. So, as we come down off of the sleep trigger, which is just here, uh, we do start with a dog kennel. Uh, all the barns and buildings here, they've got all our start machinery and equipment. I'll open all the doors so we can see everything. Now, these barns and buildings, there are no mods added in by the map maker. Apart from one, there's a well, which, again, we'll get to later on. So if you do come onto here and farm manager will start from scratch and none of these buildings are here, if I go into build mode, for example, sheds, and scroll across, none of these sheds that you start with on far, uh, New Farmer are here. So you can't replace them. You would have to put in modded versions or things you found. There's nothing anywhere saying required mods. It doesn't say there's anything needed for the map, just, so just be aware of that. If you want these particular buildings and you want that more Polish feel, there are plenty of Polish mods in the mod hub, of course there are, but if you want these specifically, you probably want to start on New Farmer. That would be my advice. Um, we do have silo. Putting into the silo is done here. Taking out of the silo is done here. It's a standard grain or crop type silo. It's not multi-fruit, doesn't do potatoes, sugar beet, anything like that. Just pretty standard as it goes. And then if we come over here, we do start with a cow pen, cow barn. The cow barn holds 50 cows. Trigger is there. Your milk trigger is to the side here. That's because you've got your milk tank just there. We open the doors in. This is a little bit different to normal in that. Why is that not door opening? 
That's weird. Hmm, okay. Open so that we do have a small greenhouse. We start with up this end. Oh, there we go. Uh, so your feed trigger and bedding trigger is there, but the slurry point is inside. So it obviously drains drain straight into the tank there. So your milk's on the outside, slurry point's on the inside. Which is, like I say, it's a little bit different. And we've got a manure point just there, which is all built in. So if you want to keep that, new farm would be the best idea. We've got a silage clamp just there. Um, the barns are drive-throughs. So you can open the back doors of those as well. And as we come around, to, I, I, I really just love the layout. The, the map itself has a really, really natural feel to it. It's, it's a lovely map. Uh, we've got the harvester there. A second tractor just there. A couple of beehives. As you can see, we've got some honey being produced already. Um, so you do start you know, with a nice amount of stuff to kind of get you going. We don't have any cows yet, but you've got the cow barn there kind of ready to go. It's a, it's a small... Um, small farm area to start with but it's nice from there we're going to head out and we're going to do kind of a route round clockwise sort of well yeah clockwise i'm going to grab this one because i think it's a little bit faster not by a huge amount but it is a little bit faster i'll drop the weight off because i don't necessarily need the weight on there um now something that i i clicked on contracts because i always check mods contracts reset point that kind of stuff it's saying there are no contracts available. So I don't know if that's just because at the time of checking there weren't. Yeah, or there are on the map there are just no contracts because it's a fairly small map for small fields. Maybe there aren't at all. Um, I've been on here on New Farmer, Farm Manager and Start From Scratch. I've come back on here again now to um, do the video and on all of them it said no contracts available. So I'm assuming from that there aren't any. Um, it does say in the description um, on the website, on the mod hub, it does say collectibles. I haven't come across anything. It says collectible items. I haven't seen anything. It's not to say there aren't. I just haven't seen any. To our left, we've got the village shop, just opposite where we are living, where our farm is. And like I say, it's. Um, I just think it's really picturesque. It's a really nice map. Now I haven't been on to FS19 to check this, and I know on FS19 I did literally hundreds of map tours. This one doesn't seem familiar. I know we had a lot of Polish maps on FS19, but often I'll go around and think, oh yeah, I, can't, I remember this one, I remember the layout. I don't know whether this was only on FS19 on PC or whether it was on Quantum. I just don't remember it. That's not like I say. No, it's not to say it wasn't. I just don't remember it. So, heading south a little bit. And it's, it's, it's really nicely done. The models, the buildings, everything. It's great. Dairy is just there to our right-hand side. As we go around, we've got our gas station, fuel station, I guess, just around this side. So you can buy your fuel from there. And then the biogas part, like I said, is just in here. So as we come in, you can see there's no triggers or anything. We've got two silage clamps, and this is the plot that's like 13 grand. So what we'll do, we'll just grab that. On some of the maps you come on, it's like 1.5 million. I don't always have enough money to be able to do it, but on this one, we can. So buy that, do that. Go back, you'll see the triggers there. Triggers have all appeared. It's all standard, good to go. Click on that, you'll see. I don't have any of those inputs. Um, silage, slurry, manure, sugar beet cut. Fairly standard biogas plant. But you can sell that once you own it if you wanted to. And you could put in your own one somewhere else. Or it's entirely up to you what you want to do. From here, we're going to head out and go south again a little bit further. Just down here, there's a turning. There we go. Just here through the trees. Again, I just, I don't know. I like this as well. This kind of yard area that's really overgrown and especially come from a storytelling narrative aspect. If you were going to do a Let's Play or just for your own kind of, to make it more interesting and immersive. You know, it could be the, you know, the sawmills run down and not been used for a long time and you come and kind of clear up the yard and put new paving down or just get rid of the weed. You know, it has that kind of feel that you could do stuff with it or just leave it as it is. But your sawmill is down here. This is part of your production chains. Nice little water point there. And again, that just, it kind of just flows. It, it just looks nice, you know. Actually, I need to check something. Did I not... Um yeah, time markers are on. Just looking to see where the pallets would spawn. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a sell point. It might not be a production chain then. Because it's not actually uh No, I take that back. It's all just a sell point. 
because there's not a um, anywhere to click on to um, take control of it. Does that make sense? Take control. Um, yeah, as far as I know, then let's go down and check that. I, I kind of it's weird, isn't it? You, you do a lot of map tours, you go around, you kind of take things for granted sometimes. Yeah, sawmill, wood, sawmill. Yeah, there's nothing. It's not showing it as a production chain. So I guess if you wanted to, you could put this. There's again, there's loads of modded bits and bobs out there. But yeah, like that. You can buy this plot and the bit of forest just to the south of it as well, if you wish. I'm just up on there, filling a cough cupping. All good. Right. That said, north. So we're on the western side of the map now. Let's get the mini-map back out. And just as we get to here, this is where the farm number two is. Now, like I said, on New Farmer, all these buildings are all here already. On um, Farm Manager and start from scratch, because the slot count's lower and you don't have any buildings at your farm, these buildings aren't here either. Weirdly, the silo is, though. If I just come and stand about, I don't know, about there... So if you come onto here on either of those modes, it will look like this. So what you can do now, if I come onto here as well, we go back up to the map, if I buy the, the farm plot here, because at the moment the silo is not showing, so if we click on that and buy this for 32 grand, do that and that, you now see the silo is showing. But what it also means, if I go into my mode here, the same as up at the other farm, if I click on, normally, well, at the other farm, if I click on everything individually, you can sell it. On this one, if I click on a building, oh, there we go. Do you want to sell farm two for 625,000? So if you wanted to put a different farm or a production chain on here and you didn't want all these farm buildings, you could make a tidy profit demolishing the farm here. Um, for 625 grand and if you do that it removes all of these buildings everything goes apart from the um, silo there and you click on that and you can get rid of that as well so yeah um, you can use it as a second farm if you want to use it as a placeables plot you're buying it for just over 32 and selling it for 625 grand or selling the buildings for 625 so you know you might consider that a worthwhile investment uh, there's no sleep trigger at this one. I know some maps, uh, the map maker puts multiple ones on to start off with, but there's no much second one there when you buy the farm. Of course, it would be rush hour, wouldn't it? And the one's coming down as well. Great. <laughs> it would appear my tractor is mass reactive. We seem to be drawing things in with our own gravity. So, heading north again. On the left-hand side, you can just see over the back there, but we're going to get to it in a minute. We've got the um, animal dealer, livestock market, it's just there, which you can get to from there, but we can get to from here as well. Just going to pull in ever so slightly here. I like this layout as well. This looks great. Uh, to the side, sugar beet sale. Up here, we have got the uh, village grain elevator. To the back, we've got a lime station. And if you come through here, let's say you come up the road, there's a little track up to there anyway. We've got our animal dealer, livestock market, triggered just here. As we come round, we have got potato sale just there. And round here, we've got barn, what used to be like the, the forage sell point. But you can, yeah, you can sell your, your bale, uh, grass, hay, straw, those kind of things just there. So a, a collection there. Now, like I said, there aren't many, if any. Actually, there aren't any, are there? They're all just sell points. There are no production chains on the map. I just suddenly realised that as I was going, because I think I assumed the sawmill was. Um, but other than that, even the dairy is just a sell point. So production chains would be something you could add on to if you wanted to. The maps, I mean, there's some, it's some nice sweeping terrain on the map, um, but there are some lovely flat areas as well. And like I said before, you come out into an area like this, and it's just, I don't know, the addition of little bits of fence in here and there, it doesn't feel contrived. It doesn't feel, you know, it just... It works, I think. So, we're now heading east. Not right at the top of the map, but not far off the top of the map. Um, and it's just... Yeah, it's picturesque. It's just really nice. I'm going to follow the track around rather than cut across, because there's a, there's a couple of bridges we're going to cross in a minute. And again, I just I like it. I like the layout. It's a very well-designed map. I don't know if it's based on a real place or not. 
I'm sure the wee Polish people out there will tell me whether it is or not. Um, if we come just north of there, which is the um, vehicle shop, we've got the well. So we've got a well there. Again, if, that, if you look out across there, now that's part of the map we can't access, but there's traffic driving along and there's buildings and it has that feeling that it's part of something much larger as well, which I like. You know, the map edges aren't boring. and you, you don't feel like you're on a tiny map. It just feels like you're on part of a much larger area. Uh, so, main machinery store, vehicle store, trigger is just there. Workshop trigger is just here. There's not, I didn't find, a, I don't think there's a workshop trigger at the main farm. This is where it is. This is also the reset point, so if you need to reset anything, it'll be reset here. Um, the gateway is not massive, so huge machinery you might struggle with, but it's not one of those maps that really lends itself to huge machinery. You look at some of these fields here with a really wide head, you could probably do the field in one pass, you know, it's that kind of thing. But I don't think this is the sort of map you'd want to play with. It's one of those ones you could just really relax into, some small stuff and just enjoy pooling around and doing a bit of farming, you know. Bit of construction work being done there. And then we head further down towards the southeast of the map. And we've got the grain elevator cell point. The barrier is much quicker going up, coming in, than it is going out. Uh, so there's your grain elevator. Again, it's kind of overgrown. It's, if it has a feel like it's been here for a very long time. You know, it's not brand new and all paved and that kind of thing. But loads of all this detail. Now, for a very small map, um, what, 213.75 megabytes, fairly high. A lot of the maps we've had recently, have, I've been quite surprised at how low the actual megabyte downloads have been. But then you can see why. Yeah, that seems to be, until you're right on top of it, no, it's not open at all. Oh, that's weird, because that... There we go. You always have to hit it before it actually lifts up. Um, so, from here, we're going to head back up to little track just here. And as I often say when I do these map tours, it's not always about just, you know, it's not about me necessarily showing where all the cell points are or showing on animal pens and stuff where all the triggers are. I do that, but it's just about getting a feel for the map. You know, you can have a look and as I drive around and talk like I often do, you can just kind of get a feel and often you can tell straight away so I, you know I like that I like the layout I like the way it's done I might give it a go or you might look and think no yeah whilst it's a very nice map and very nice put together it's not my cup of tea that's kind of the point of doing with the map tools really and then we find ourselves back at the farm um, in a very picturesque and if I said picturesque before <laughs> have I mentioned this picturesque a picturesque and lovely setting and that's it that's the map we started the main farm we went out past the village shop, we went down here, checked out the uh, dairy and the fuel point, biogas plant, sawmill. We came up to farm number two, then we did the uh, sugar beet, grain elevator, livestock market, lime station, uh, potato sale, barn. Then we came all the way across here up to the well, uh, vehicle machinery store. Then we came all the way down here to the grain elevator, and then we came back round and up across here. And we're back. That's it. Uh, that's Mazov Shani by Puma145. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching. <laughs>